Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Advanced Blueprint Tutorial Series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at branches and conditioning inside of blueprints. So if we go ahead and open up our level blueprint, we'll create one of these branch nodes and show you exactly what we're talking about. So a branch node is essentially going to be a piece of script which you can tell uh, which you can use to tell the engine to do two different actions depending on whether or not something is true and false. So a little example of this would be, um, does the player have the key? If it does, which is going to be true, then you want to tell it to open the door. If it's false and they don't have that key, you might want to tell the player that they need to go and find that. And just simple little decisions or sort of nodes like this within your code is going to power literally everything. It's an if statement, which is very, very common within programming. If it's true, do this. If it's false, do that. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how this works. Now, the easiest way to make this work is with a Boolean. So if you hook up a Boolean, which is already a true or false value into that, it's then if that Boolean is true, it's going to tell it to do one thing. And if it's false, it's going to tell it to do another thing. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So with true, I'm going to tell this to print a string. And then with this, I'm going to set this to true. For false, I'm just going to select it, press control C and control V to paste that. And then I'm just going to change the string to false. Now with this test Boolean, at the moment it's set to untrue. So it should, when I begin play here, it should go ahead and make the decision to print the string false. So let's compile this and give this a go. Notice in the top left hand corner there, it says false, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. If I bring this back up and change the default value for that test Boolean, hit compile and hit play, you're going to notice it's going to say true, which is perfect. Now, instead of a Boolean, you can also use a condition and a condition is going to be sort of working with things like is something equal to another is it less than is it more than and so on so let me show you exactly what i'm talking about with that so what i'm going to do is grab my test integer that we made before just drag it in and get a reference to that now with this what i could do is type in integer and then some of the ones we can work with are the ones which say return true or returns false. So things like um, integer um, less than, integer less than or equal to, integer more than or more than equal to. So what this is doing is essentially running a check to see whether or not the first integer is more than the second integer. And you can use this. So for example, let's say um, you wanted to reload your gun and you needed to know whether or not they've got a full ammo clip. You would want to check to see if their current ammo or remaining ammo rather is more than the amount that they need. Um, that's just one example, but you guys are completely free to experiment with that. So what I'm going to do is just work with the simplest of ones at the moment, which is equal. So it's going to return true if A is equal to B. So let's just go ahead and click that. So, like I said, if A is equal to B, whatever B might be, um, it's going to return true. And you'll notice you have this little return value. Hook this up into your condition, and that is going to be the answer to this question. So test integer at the moment is equal to two, and the second input is set to zero. So what it should do, because they're not equal values, it's going to return false. So if I press play, it's returned false. If I set this to two, compile it again, and then press play, you're going to notice it will return true. Now, this is something that you are going to sort of find you'll have a little bit more ease of use with once you start to figure out the logic behind it. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And on that note, I am actually going to end off the video there. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. 
Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.